Hi, Broadway world. I'm Katie Lynch here at the beautiful shed at Hudson Yards for the world premiere of Here We Are, Sondheim's final musical. And I'm going to talk to the cast and creative team after their opening night bow. How does it feel tonight to be here on such a historic evening of Sondheim's last musical? Yeah, it feels incredible. You know, it, it feels it only feels historic when people say it's historic, but then you recognize that it is. But, you know, it's just this this thing that we made and we get to present it. And uh, it feels amazing that that it's his last and I wish he were here to see it. You know, I think about that every night. I, you know, it, 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 there's so many significances and resonances, but I think the most important thing for me is how extraordinary the piece is, that where his mind was, where his heart and soul were, what he was focused on in his last days. And uh, there's something in the show even about the idea of, you know, being there, being there, and then we go, and that's it. And that's what he did right up to the end. So I feel like he's, I guess, very present. In my last few years, I've been around Steve a lot. We did Assassins at CSC, and I've been working on this for seven years, I think. And um, I knew it was really good, and so Joe Montello and I were always talking about its potential and um, the size of it and wanting to do it, if for no other reason than to give Steve a victory lap. So uh, it feels like we've done that for him. Um, so it feels very successful in that way. I was going to ask, what do you think he would think of the show now? Oh, he'd love it. He'd love how weird and wonderful it is. Yeah, he would love it. Are you kidding? Yeah. Absurd, surreal, you know, the politics of it. He would love it. I think what's so special about Sondheim is all of his shows hit me in a different way, depending on, like, what chapter I'm in in my life. And um, I just can't believe that people get to watch this show and like have them hit it in some way and then at another moment in their life it's gonna hit them somehow differently um it's like a part of this larger legacy it's part of this new language that Sondheim has kind of created for us all his gifts all his puzzles yeah and if he was here today what do you think he would think of the show now well we've asked of course our cast has asked all of those questions and David always says that he'd be laughing and laughing out loud in the corner of the room. Um, I think we even saved him a seat um, during the gala and this performance next to next to Joe and, and David. And, um, you know, Joe Mantello, our director, said that um, he reminded of us of a quote that Sondheim said, which was, sacrifice something safe. And I think that he did this. He did that with this last show. He really risked something. And um, I'm proud to be a part of that. You know, from the inside, it's hard for us to, I think, grasp the significance because we're just working on a play. And he feels like he's in the room. And like all collaborations, we change things, we argue, we edit, we cut. And that was this whole process, the same thing. So it, it, it's, it's hard for us to like have our heads in the idea that, my God, this is the last musical. I think now that it's open and now that it's in the world and you all have it, that will begin to become uh, apparent to us and we'll begin to feel that, you know. It's very surreal, really trippy. <laughs> I mean, I used to like go to the library and get the musicals on CD, you know? And then like, what do you call it? Burn them to a tape. Is that what it was called? No, it wasn't called burning. But I would, you know, put them onto a tape and then listen to them on a tape deck. And so it's like, it's pretty wild that I'm here doing this. I never knew him that well. He did come to see Great Comet and was a big fan. And, and of course, we were all incredibly nervous that he was there. So, and I auditioned on his birthday. <laughs> so there are like a lot, which is also the same day as Andrew Lloyd Webber's birthday, which is so trippy. There are many things about it. You know, the show is about the meaning of life and he passed while making it. And I don't know, makes me a little um, steamy. Yeah. If Sondheim were here tonight, what do you think he would think of the show now? Um, well, because it's frozen, he would have to stop having notes, but I'm sure up until this very last moment, there would have been notes. He would have been working on something. Yeah. Tidying up, you know, tweaking things, as we all are in any tech process. Um, but obviously, that's the... He is the absence that is very deeply felt. 
And um, I mean, at the same time, so many people who have worked with him and known him have spoken to how much they felt him in the room and in the rehearsal room and in the theater. And um, I feel that. And I'm, and I'm grateful and uh, it, it's, I think and I hope, I hope, but I also think that we would have made him proud.